Good morning, y'all. We are back in Austin. It is Wednesday, so it's probably just going to be like a vlog of a bunch of days combined. It's currently 7.30 a.m., and I'm about to go um, on a walk slash run slash jog. We're going to figure out what we're like feeling today with my friend Nancy um, on the auditorium. No, we're not going to auditorium shores. We're going to like the Lady Bird Lake Trail. Same thing, but you know what I mean? Just different entrances. Um, I'm a little nervous. Uh, don't feel really great this morning. I feel like I just got cramps, so I took like some Advil. Good morning. Good you morning. look so cute. You look so cute. I'm wearing a huge t-shirt. No way. You look I was so like, great. I'm like, I'm gonna be so sweaty and gross. Yeah. Yeah. God oh, bless. Yeah. Okay, so I have Sonali on my little interval. She's thing. training me. Yes. Like in. I mean, I'm no trainer. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but Better we're doing than something. Yes. Just moving our bodies, but we're doing a minute walk, two minute jog, and then 30 second push, like run or sprint, whatever that means to you. But yeah. we're just like picking up our pace. We're yeah. not, I'm not going to be sprinting. <laughs> so it's a lot more tiring than it sounds. Try oh it. Oh my God. When Nancy told me it was like two weeks ago, I was like, wait, I kind of want to do it. Like I'm a beginner. <laughs> sounds great. Hi, it's no so much best. harder than, than you think. I also am stupid and didn't stretch, so. <laughs> we will we'll stretch burning. after. We will stretch. <laughs> yeah. After. We have to. But it feels good. First time getting back into it. Into like, yes. Yeah. It'll be on for a while. <laughs> We're done, guys. We did it. We did it. I was suffering towards the end. Really. <laughs> I know. So it took, no, me too. Like, that was it way was harder too much than I, than I thought. Was, but we did it, so. Now we get to reward ourselves. I was saying, now we get a treat. Uh -huh. We're going to this new place called Foxtrot. Well, they have one on Burnett, but they like literally pop them up at the same time. Yeah, that's much. wild. Yeah, and I swear, like last week before I left for my trip, I passed by it and it was like not done at all. Okay, that's that's crazy. The fact that you like, yeah, the fact when that when I saw it, I, well, everyone was like, "How is it already open?" Yeah, you're like, they really did a lot. In they a week. did it. Yeah, so we're going to check it out. I'm I know, excited. So, excited. so cute, and I want a treat. Yes. <laughs> Guys, look! Well, you can't see in there. Oh my god, it's huge! It's, big. Yeah. it's so big. Our friend Catherine met us! <laughs> and Clyde! Clyde, do you get him? <laughs> I'm gonna be just as excited as every time you see us. It's so cute in here. They have like a little cafe with all this healthy food, all the healthy snacks. Oh my gosh. Is this our Austin Air One? <laughs> I mean, I bet. This is all like the cutest packaging. I could only imagine how expensive everything is. <laughs> oh, beach vacation. <laughs> it just looks so right, you know? Yes. Wow. This is cool vibes. Oh wow, they even have like white claws. I know. Oh, yeah. Like a little drink. I've never seen these in like real life. Yeah. It's a good place to get packaging into. Oh, can I get your Something. Oh, desert detox. Desert detox. Cheers. Yes. And Catherine says the coffee is really good. She came here yesterday. <laughs> Back again. This smoothie is amazing. It tastes like a vacation. It tastes like almost like a peanut butter one. It's so good. I'm back home. I just showered and I feel so good. Like the sweat was like dried up on me. So I felt really dirty when I was at Foxtrot, but I am obsessed with that place. Like I will be back very often. <laughs> and I want to like look more in like the market and the cafe area because i just feel like there's so many fun snacks and i love trying new snacks but i feel like packaging sometimes can be a scam there's so many products i've tried because i've seen influencers just like try them online and stuff like that cookie dough i think i tried it once and i really did not think it was that great but it's like very healthy you know so maybe that's why and maybe I just have like the biggest sweet tooth, so I think it's like really disgusting because I know what real cookie dough tastes like, you know? Um, but I'm on the hunt for like actually healthy, actually good snacks. So I'll let you know if I actually find any. Um, but their smoothie was really good too, and I definitely want to go back and try their chai. 
I didn't really feel like I wanted like caffeine that early, but now I feel like I need an energy drink, like a straight up, like a Lonnie New. And I think I told you guys about this, but my sister left like a bunch of Alani News here and that's like my first time trying it. It was the only energy drink that didn't leave me feeling anxious, which was very nice. And then I felt like a superhero after it because I was getting so much done. So I think I might drink one of those because at 12 o'clock, it is currently 10.30. So I have like some time to get ready, but at 12 o'clock, I'm doing my first ever podcast recording, but it's not my own podcast, it's my friend's. She's um, starting up a podcast, and I think I might be her like second guest. I don't know if she's actually like published anything just yet, um, or if she's just like building up some episodes before she like actually publishes them, you know? So I'll ask her today, but you guys have probably seen her on my vlogs. Her name's Shireen, and so we are going to talk about all things influencing and just how I got started. So I don't know when it's gonna be up. I wanted to do my makeup like really good because it is also being filmed, which I didn't know until a week ago. So now I'm a little nervous. Like I wasn't that nervous just to like talk and chat, which I know it's gonna be the same thing, but now I have to like actually, you know, sit up straight and <laughs> just make sure I look good too. So that will be interesting. I'm kind of in a limbo right now because I don't want to get fully back into a routine. Like I do want to start like exercising more for sure. Um, but literally in less than a week, we are turning around and going on another trip. And this one's a little bit longer. And I was literally unpacking everything last night, which I'm so happy I did because everything was such a mess last night. We uh, watched, God forbid, it's like some documentary about some affair with like political people. I saw a TikTok on it and it sounded really good, but it ended like really horribly and they didn't even like tell us like an update on like where everyone is. I was like, what the hell? Um, but it was okay. <laughs> After we watched it, I was so tired. I was about to go to sleep, but then literally something came over me. I got like an energy boost of just seeing all this clutter in like the kitchen area, all over the couches, like my clothes were everywhere. And I was like, no, I will not be going to sleep like this because also I knew I was going to be kind of just like out and about all day. And tonight I'm having some girls over for like an Italian dinner kind of thing. It's going to be so fun. We are basically calling it like a cookbook club kind of thing. And like one person's bringing app, one person's bringing entree, and one person is bringing like a cocktail. Um, I'm doing the dessert, which I haven't started on, which I really need to right after I do this podcast because it's creme brulee and it has to cool for like four hours, I believe. But I guess dessert is like the last thing you eat, so it's gonna be fine because I wanna like torch the sugar like while they're there. So it's like nice and fresh and warm. But I'm excited because it's an Earl Grey creme brulee. And during the pandemic, I had <laughs> a phase of literally making creme brulee so often. We are pulling from Half Big Harvest recipes, which I don't think I've ever made anything from her. We're actually going home back to Georgia for a little bit. And well, it's a whole thing, pretty much. I'm going back to Georgia. Ryan is pet sitting for my dad back there, um, like for the whole month, well, the whole rest of the month of June and then a little bit in July. I am actually gonna come back here a week later to Austin because there's an event, a very, very exciting event that I wanted to go to. So I was like, I'm flying back. And then um, I had my friend's birthday party here anyway. So it kind of gave me, you know, another reason to be back here. Um, so I'm excited to be able to go to that. And then I'm gonna fly back home for 4th of July because I didn't really want to say and my grandma's gonna be there so I'm glad I have like multiple reasons to like fly back and forth like it's not gonna be the most fun but it also will be nice because I won't have to pack for like a whole month but I literally had this like uh packing cube full of just like like basics like tank, tank tops and stuff that I packed for the beach and I was like why did I just unpack that like I could have just like left it there so I could like pack it for next week because I'm, I know when I'm home, I pack like such cute stuff. I never wear it because I'm just sitting in the house all day. Like it's, we're in the suburbs of Atlanta. Like there's not much to do, you know? Just quickly curl my hair and look at the difference. This is what it looks like right after you curl it. I'm gonna brush it out and like add 
probably some like texturizing product. I just need it to be a little bit more luminous up here. But I also just like to like flip my head over. I don't even know if I need product. Yay! I just put some jewelry on, which I feel like I have not been wearing a lot of jewelry. Like I usually wear a lot of rings. But haven't been feeling it, so I think I need to dress up. Like it's like too basic, so I just needed to put on a little bit. Um, but I want to pick out a lip color. I want to be like a little bit more natural. So either the Makeup Forever mm, Anywhere Caffeine, or we can do Hello. There we go. Or we can do this one, Iconic Nude from. Charlotte Tilbury. I think I want to do Makeup Forever. And then one of my favorite freaking lip glosses ever is Maybelline Lip Dirt Gloss in the color Stung. I don't want anything too like, dark or anything. And obviously I need something on my lips. We are Hello. ready to podcast. I know Sonali's teaching me all the tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. She told me I need to use manual. <laughs> yes. So she like, well, she has like a really good camera too. And Thank it's you. Sony. So I love that for her. But this is our predicament. Sorry, it was just really, too, really too bright. But we have the iPhone set up. It looks like actually really good. And I always tell my friends that are getting into like YouTube, don't use your iPhone. But honestly, I've been using it lately and it's pretty good. But it's only the back camera that I like. Right, not the front cam. Yeah, it's just, no, the selfie's not good. But then she has this really nice camera and I'm like, shoot, like I kind of want you to use this. But I mean, I don't think it hurts to like use both and then see which one you which like. Which one's better, yeah. like putting them side by side. Yeah, I feel and like you should just- run for hours, That's right? what, yeah, that's the- that, Which is good, you know? Yeah, no, okay. that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the only downfall of this, this one, camera. You pause, clap, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I, I'd rather get used to this. Yeah, I and agree. And start getting more comfortable. Yeah, I being agree. Being comfortable with this, and then this is just like backup. For sure. Maybe for TikTok or Instagram. Yeah. Okay. And then I get also when I'm sitting there, mm -hmm. the shades don't interfere. Um, I mean, sit. yeah. Maybe we need to move this light. Just the lamp is kind of like. Could we move, we the, move the lamp? It? Yeah. Like even if you moved it like a little over this side, because it's just like sticking out of your head, you know? Yeah. No, that's good. Cool. Okay guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this one. Okay, wait. Wait. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you're good. Right. I'm gonna press this and then one. Wait, oh, oh, go. No, not yet. Actually, can you move your cup yes. a little closer? But I need 24 just in case. Okay. We're doing this. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. I was not looking. Wait, are you already going? Oh my god, okay. Okay, we can, I know, I just kind of go for it. Okay, okay, we can redo it. Okay, ready? Sometimes I look at the camera, sometimes I'm going to be looking at you most of the time. Okay, I wasn't even like, I don't even know where I was looking. Okay, ready? Tell me one. One, two, three. Hi everyone, welcome back. Sonali is a photographer, she's a fashion icon, and so much more. And I always joke that she is my Kim K Aww. because not only is she a bad bitch, but she's also a hustler and just gets shit done. And I wanted to bring her on to share tips on how to build real estate in social media by creating a brand and building a presence in social media. So I'm just kind of, we're going to kind of just like jump into it. Okay. And I can always do a better introduction like later before we kind of do this. Okay. Honestly, I whenever I vlog and I stutter and I restart and now I'm trying to like really simplify my editing. Yeah. So I can like whenever I do repeat it and I go back to edit and I see the repeated, I always take the first version. Really? Yeah. It's more I'm starting here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of. I think that's how it's probably going to be with yeah. podcasting too. Like you can repeat yourself just in case, but like now I'm starting to realize like I said it the way I said it and it's supposed to be said like that. You know. That's true. That's so. a good point. Okay, so over the past few years that I've known you, I've just seen you blossom in your career. Like you popped off, especially during South By this year, mm -hmm. having gone to so many different events. And then after South By, you got to be a guest speaker for Amazon. Mm -hmm. I just want to go into that a little bit more. I know we talked about it, but mm -hmm. 
I just was like geeking out for you when you like mentioned that and I was like go Sonali like Aww. I love seeing people from like the beginning and I know you were yeah. kind of already at your peak when I met you but just seeing how many more gigs you've gotten over time yeah I'm just like a proud little mother ah. okay so basically let's rewind because I have been in the Amazon influencer program for and when I was there I really tried to network like with as many people from Amazon as I could. I really want to know is it because I was like networking with the right people right. or do they already like have me in the pipeline or like already this? Set. yeah so I was like so curious about that but obviously you can't just be like so how do I like get this opportunity like I just, right. I'm so curious you know um so anyways yeah so I went to New York and it was so cool because I was in a room with influencers. Well, th this goes for LA too because there were so many LA influencers that would come for just like the day, but I was there like for the whole like three nights. And so there was like people like um, Caitlin B. I don't know if you, she was like an OG YouTuber, Caitlin B. Oh yeah, yeah, I do know her. Just with Morgan Yates. Yes, yes. Morgan Yates was there. I got to meet her. Um, uh, Peyton Sarton. Oh yeah, it's like, like all the OG, all the OG YouTube, yeah. and we're like you, like YouTube girls. So like I was Watch freaking YouTube. out when they were all in the same room as me. And so same thing happened in New York. I was like, holy crap, these people are so big on mm -hmm. TikTok, Instagram, and stuff. And um, one of the biggest ones I saw was Michelle Choi. Do you know? Yes, she, she, she does the living alone. Yeah, 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 yeah she's she's YouTube. Too. In general, a lot of the people I was meeting, they just like had so many more followers than me. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm like from Texas. And they're like, oh, you flew in for this? Like, right. what the heck? I was like, oh yeah, I'm speaking on the panel in like 10 minutes. And they're like, wait, what the heck? Like, and it, I just felt like a little bit validated yeah, when yeah. I said that. Like, I belong here. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, you'll be watching me speak. No, literally. <laughs> well, I went to a dinner with Crown Affair. And they gave us like two products, but the one product that I really wanted wasn't like yeah. kind of goodie bag. So I just reached out. I was like, hey, can I have the dry shampoo? I'm like, yeah, sent it over. Um, I did a video just because I was like wanting it and wanting to see how it worked. Yeah. And um, later, I didn't even send them the video. I don't even think. They saw it and emailed me and they wanted to like whitelist it. Which means what does that like mean? just put money behind it to boost oh, it. Oh, to promote it. Yeah. And in return, you get so yeah an they, audience too. Well, that too. Yeah, I do. And also, they gave me like money. I tried to negotiate higher, but you know, it's fine. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> but it was cool because I didn't even like I did that for free. Yeah. And I got like a little bit of money out of it. That's true. Because I tagged the brand. The brand. So I know that, and that's something that we forget too. It's like we're giving them free publicity. Yeah. And I feel like everything now is kind of like marketing and you're like, if you're using it, you might as well yeah. talk about it if you really yes, like it. For sure. And I think we can all be an influencer in our own little way. Mm -hmm. And I think some people, oh, well, Shireen, <laughs> Shireen is getting on Instagram stories these days and she's been putting on her close friends list. Guilty. And I'm like, this is like really great content. Like I love hearing you talk, like you're sharing your favorite things. like. Why are you not sharing it with just like everyone? It's not like you're hiding anything. It was like That's a grocery true. haul. That's so like, true. Come on. <laughs> I think it's it's like hard to be vulnerable and like show yeah. that side of yourself. Oh, now a lot of my boyfriend's friends are very interested in what I do and like are always mm -hmm. asking questions, which is like so nice and like they're very genuine about it too. But it's so crazy because I like told Ryan I was like, wow, they like actually care about like what I do and then like, they're interested in it. Like I feel like when I was in high school, I you know I got mocked and like not like severely bullied but like for sure like yeah. people were talking shit and Ryan was like they're only interested now because you actually made it right so once you started your youtube channel did you tell anybody about it or how, oh i have so yeah. many questions actually like how yeah. did you make viral content and then was there a way that you could uh, promote your videos yeah i remember the day that i like launched my youtube channel on instagram i remember because i had this like really cute picture from cabo and i was like with my cousin and she was like really into youtube too she like yeah. loves the british youtubers so um I was like, okay, I'm gonna actually like promote it on my Instagram, like, you know, words out. I have a YouTube channel. Also, I didn't even tell my parents for like the longest time. For, they didn't. Have, so, what were they thinking? You were doing know. in your room? I just <laughs> with the tripod and the camera. I was like, now that I think back about it, I'm were like, they in the videos? No, no, no. Okay. Have you always had this confidence, or did, did you just? <laughs> I don't know. 
know, honestly. Because it's I think, like it's. I can just even like when we first met, you're just very confident. You hold a presence that I, think I feel it's like a, a lot, lot of about YouTubers faking I it. Okay, I fake it. So. <laughs> I'm thinking like 16 year old Sonali here. It's like, <laughs> okay, but I wasn't, I wasn't this confident back then. It just ended and we talked for like what? Maybe like how two many hours? hours? I was gonna say, I feel like it was definitely more than one hour. I but know, it was good. We had yeah. a lot of good content. So when is this gonna be up? Cause I was gonna say I can link it, but if it's. Okay, so I don't really think I'm gonna be able to post everything until August. Why? Because I still have to film a few others. Yeah. I want to have like five or six That's in the pipeline, good. and then okay. I need to do. Well, like... I'm gonna post on my Instagram stories. So. Yeah, yeah. Just You'll see it eventually. It might be two months from now. <laughs> Got home a little bit ago, and I immediately started working on our dessert of the night, which is going to be Earl Grey Creme Brulee. I steeped the tea in this cream, and it smells so freaking good. Like I feel like I want to eat that already, which makes me think I could make like Earl Grey ice cream and the creamy which also brings me to this point i got the premier proteins finally um i got this one in the birthday cake flavor and then i also got chocolate and i want to make a creamy with that and if you guys don't know what a ninja creamy is it's like this ice cream well it's right here this thing makes like ice cream sorbet mm, smoothie bowls milkshakes gelato like it is insane Ask me how many times I've used it though since <laughs> buying it, which was like a month ago. We've used it like once, well twice technically because we made two like little ice cream flavors, but I want to use it more so I'm excited to put the Premier Protein in like the little jars because you have to freeze it overnight, which is kind of annoying. That's the one thing that sucks. I mean, I get it, like it has to freeze itself, but you have to make um, your like concoction freeze for at least like 24 hours. So it's definitely not like a spontaneous thing, but that's why I want to have like a couple different flavors like ready to be mixed and like ready to be e eaten. So yeah, I'm really excited about this dessert because um, it's a little different, a little twist on just the normal creme brulee. And then I think some other girls are bringing like a caprese salad. I think hopefully, hopefully my friend Kiana's making carbonara because that's like my favorite. I also really wanted to get some flowers from Trader Joe's because I found this stunning little like milk jar vase. I don't know what they're really called. I think they're called like milk glasses or something, but I don't know if you can tell the texture on this is like really, really pretty. And I wanted to put some like flowers in it and do like the little grid tape method so that they look really nice. <coughs> So we might go in a little bit, but I just feel like a little bit stressed for this creme brulee because I forgot that it does need a good amount of prep time because after I bake it, it has to cool for like X amount of hours, which is like maybe three or four. get a ladle. <laughs> Trader Joe's and got some flowers and they have such a good selection right now. I got peonies and ranunculus, which are my absolute favorite currently. This is what they look like, but they're gonna look even better when they're actually like fluffed and like not all in a bowl. 
baby's breath, obviously. I don't know what these are called. And then I got the little yellow puffy balls, Craspedia. Now, obviously, we're using my stunning little milk glass. Glass. Wait, what is it called? Why am I blanking? I hope these all go like really nicely together, but I just prepped them and now I'm going to use the tape method. Hey guys, it's done. I mean, I wish it was like more filled in some areas because you can like some really see the stems or maybe I should have like just cut it shorter. But honestly, for my first like little tape grid method thing, I feel like it's not, not too shabby. I love it. I'm obsessed. Are you kidding me? So we did a little dinner club, supper club, and this time we picked half-baked harvest. So everyone's going to say what they brought. <laughs> I brought, um, it's zucchini, um, prosciutto burrata carbonara pasta. So delish. It's, it's crispy so prosciutto. So yum. yum. The best. Okay. Um, and then I brought the chicken pesto. Ooh. It's supposed to be on skewers, but <laughs> working girl. <laughs> so it looks so good. I have to read mine. Okay. I'm gonna forget. Uh, <laughs> I brought the marinated mozzarella melon skewers. Yum. And also the frozen apérol peach margarita. <laughs> Literally, so, so, so good. yummy. Oh, Wait, so good. did you blend like peach? Mm -hmm. er I got the biggest bag of frozen peaches. So if oh my gosh. Frozen peaches, it's like <laughs> this big. Oh my gosh. Um, but I didn't even use half of it. And then apérol mar margarita, tequila, and. This one thing I can't pronounce. It's I don't like think I usually like like Aperol, thing. but I don't know if I can taste it as much, right? I or like no. Aperol, but I don't like a lot of it. Yeah. Sometimes it can get cough syrupy to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. 100%. I really drink it straight. No, yes. you would oh, not. I disgusting. wish I could do that. I, I love it. Oh no, God, I, no. I, people who drink it are so chic. <laughs> I <laughs> agree. Are. But I'm also like, are you lying to yourself? Yeah. Are you lying? No, I love it. Absolutely no, not. Yeah. At her pregame, she was just straight up drinking. <laughs> I should have brought you the bottle that I had. I'm like, I'm not going to drink it. it. Yeah. And then I made Earl Grey creme brulee that's in yeah. the fridge, and I'm going to torch them when we're ready for it. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Okay, I'm excited to eat. Let's do it. First taste test. Yeah, I was about to taste test. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Yummy? Eat. Good. Yes, good. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. The girls just left and the cookbook dinner was so good, like so fun and kind of pushed us all out of like our elements of cooking. And the Earl Grey creme brulee was like so delicious. I will be making that again. I also just got some packages downstairs because I forgot that I even had some waiting for me. And this one's a good one. I ordered from Dish. Don't know if it's like Australian or like what. It's definitely not like a US brand but their clothes are just like perfectly neutral earthy tones and like linen vibes and so perfect for summer. So I'm really excited to try that on. I'll probably like try to do that tomorrow. And then I think pharmacy sent me something. So let's go ahead and open that now. The camera is very crooked, but my battery is like dying and I'm just trying to do this really quick. That was not very efficient. All these years of getting PR, like I still have yet to buy a box cutter. The PR moves around. It literally like looks like it's empty. Okay, where is this product though? Okay, it's a cleansing balm. I think I already have one of their cleansing balms, so maybe it's just like a different flavor. Okay, I definitely have their cleansing balm. Let's see what this smells like then. It comes with like a little scoop. Okay. Ooh, it's like very like clean smelling, but also like a sweet strawberry flavor. While we're here, Clarence sent me a box 
two. These are the lip perfectors. And I've been seeing these on my friend's accounts. Okay, I really like this. It also smells really good too, but it's literally flashing at me. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is actually Friday. Yesterday I was having a very bum day and just did some admin work, <laughs> nothing very exciting. It is currently 6.57 a.m. I have a morning shoot at 7 a.m. with one of my blogger clients. And then I want to like film a good bit today because, well, actually I'm not really sure because I think it's supposed to be raining at three. So I'm gonna try to get ready really early and then like start filming stuff. And I have just so many like TikToks that I have had on my like editing queue to edit, but I haven't edited them. Um, but I'm proud of myself because I posted a YouTube video last night. That one was a Sephora haul. It was very chatty, very chill. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I'm kind of sad because I feel like we don't really have any major plans this weekend. And I was like trying to like have something to look forward to, but I think like a lot of my friends are just busy out of town. Um, so I don't know what we're doing this weekend. I definitely want to swim like somewhere sometime. So definitely swimming and then I think we're gonna try a new restaurant tonight we have started to go to the same restaurants and I was like there are so many new ones here in Austin like every week I swear there are like two new restaurants so it's kind of getting overwhelming but I'm so excited to try them all out like they look so good but honestly food here in Austin is not cheap whatsoever even if you come and try to make it cheap like it's definitely gonna add up but we'll kind of wait and see what we're craving because we haven't really made a reservation we're just hoping we can get in somewhere early. All right, ready. Three, slide over this way. Keep going, keep going. Okay, good. Ready, three, two, one. Perfect. Go more at a diagonal, walk in, yeah. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Do it again, go back. Three, two, one, go. Perfect, yep. Look like kind of back that way. Yep. Ready, three, two, one, and go. There we go, perfect. Um, come actually this way, side this way. Okay, perfect, ready? Three, two, one. Cute, turn even more that way. Actually, you've been turning that way this whole time. Let's, yeah, switch it up. Three, two, perfect. Play with sunglasses. Good. One second. Three, two, one, and go. Getting him even closer. Three, two, one. Maybe you hold your hair like decent, like almost like, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yep, look away. Perfect. Look the other way, good. Good. Today I went for a more glowy makeup look and we'll see how I like it throughout the day. I feel like that's the issue is like it just like starts to just look oily and not as glowy. I actually just gave Sophie a little summer trim because she didn't really need like a whole haircut on her body because we like how she looks when it's long and then every time we take her to actually get groomed they cut so much off. So I was like okay let me just try to order like an actual pet scissors on Amazon and it worked out so well like I actually think I did a good job and I'm proud because now I don't have to spend like $60 just for like a face trimming. Ryan's downstairs and he's giving her a bath so we can like see it in full force. We're gonna like give her a little blowout and everything um, but I wanted to do an unboxing. The first one is from um, oh my gosh yes Glow Recipe. This cream right here was my favorite for a very long time. And then I just started using like random PR that I got, but I'm excited to have this again because it's so good. It is the Plump Plump Hyaluronic 
cream and then serum. Ooh, fancy. Okay. But Butter London has a lot of nail polish. And usually I don't just do natural nails. I've had these for like a week or two and I'm actually shook at it. This morning I did like a little makeup TikTok and me holding the products with my natural nails didn't look like amazing because I had just bitten them all off because one broke. Um, but I'm excited to use this because the, these are like nail treatments, she said, or if you want to do like natural nail or just need a little bit of repair. Ooh, okay, melt away cuticle exfoliator, mellow the yellow nail brightening treatment. That's that's cool. This is a nail tinted moisturizer. What the heck? I've never heard of something like that, but it does have like a little bit of a color to it, so I'm very curious. And they sent these really cool brushes for maybe like nail art or just like cleaning up around the cuticles, which is nice. This they do have makeup too, because they sent me a blush and a mascara. This one is also from Glow Recipe. Look at this pride packaging. It's for the watermelon glow pore tight toner. Saturday. Last night we didn't end up going to try that restaurant, but we're gonna try a new cafe this morning. And I don't know what time this was, but I woke up because Sophie was like shaking. She hates the rain and it started like thunderstorming like super, super bad. And I was like, damn, there goes our pool day because we're supposed to like meet up with our friends later tonight and have like a grill out, cookout thing. But then I woke up and the skies were so clear blue. So I'm very happy about that. It's pretty hot out. Like I don't, every time summer comes along, I'm like, how did we do it last summer? Cause it's so hot. Cologne, right? No, it's just their own oh, version of it, I guess. Nice. And they talk a croissant. What do you like this one better than La Cologne in New York? <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It's not that good. Dang. I'm gonna take it back. It's a little bit better now that I'm past the foam. It tastes pretty good. <laughs> Give me a review. You're not gonna want my review. I'm gonna say people need it. it. So no, theatrical. There's absolutely no sweetener in that. <laughs> yeah, oat milk. Well, we got a lot of errands run to run today. We're gonna go to the boot shop, pick up our boots, boot see shop. if they're stretched. We're gonna go get soil mm -hmm. for our bougainvillea that is blooming. Probably need a bigger pot. Really? I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll outgrow its surroundings so. though. It's a big pot. I literally spent thirty nine dollars on. Pot on Amazon, I thought it was gonna be so so much cheaper than like where we went to buy the big campfire. And it wasn't. And it was like what plastic or something? Like it wasn't stone. It's it's ceramic material, yeah. Came to Walmart to get some cowboy caviar stuff and now we need to get some soil for our plant. But unfortunately the boot shop wasn't open, so I guess we'll have to go on a weekday. Just got home and I have like about two hours before we go over to my friend's apartment pool. And I think I'm gonna do some marinated drumsticks. That just sounds so good. I know there's gonna be like hot dogs and stuff, but doesn't chicken just sound so good on a freaking pool day? So I'm gonna do that. I don't really know exactly what recipe I'm gonna be using. It's just gonna be a mixture of like spices and yogurt. Yogurt is like the secret ingredient to making it so moist and good. I'm gonna make cowboy caviar and then cut up some watermelon.
bathroom already. I'm doing my Monday swimwear. Of course, it's like my absolute go-to swimsuit because it just really sucks me in when I need it the most, which is today <laughs> and honestly every day. But I'm also wearing this Amazon linen um, like button-down shirt and it is one size. But this is the length of it and I think it's perfect for like a swimsuit cover-up. Honestly, you can wear it so many different ways. But I made the cowboy caviar and cut up watermelon and marinated chicken. I need to get that over the fridge actually before I forget, but cowboy caviar is so freaking good. I actually met a subscriber in Walmart and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just shopping for like a cookout and I'm making cowboy caviar and she did not know what that was. Last summer it went viral on TikTok and I feel like I heard about it for at least two weeks straight. It's just so good. So very excited to eat those with some chips, we got some cookies, and we're just ready to grill out and swim in the pool. And just be in the sun, it's really hot outside. So that's how we uh, survive summer here in Austin, if you guys were wondering. Literally, you don't leave the house unless you know you're going somewhere with like a body of water that you can swim in. Yeah, it's like um, red bell pepper, red onion, corn, black beans. <laughs> Plays like nonsense home videos. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the more Here, put the thing, but... Don't toast all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll save one. <laughs> 